I'm Judy Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Mike Saul. He is co-founder at Goldfinch. Mike, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, before we get started, just a quick note to viewers. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Mike, tell me about Goldfinch. What do you do? Yeah, so Goldfinch is a private credit platform that uses blockchain to improve the accessibility and the liquidity of these deals. And it's a really interesting time for private credit right now because we're coming on the heels of the stock markets falling quite a bit and a lot of investors now questioning whether stocks are the right place to be investing. And this comes on a, a 20 year plus kind of trend of confidence in the stock markets decreasing. At the same time, we have the Fed increasing interest rates. And that means that a lot of these companies around the world are offering much higher yields in the range of like 10 to 15 percent for highly profitable, highly sort of highly like strong companies to be investing in. And so we have seen private credit increasing uh, increasing steadily over the last decade. And right now is a moment where investors are thinking about maybe not going into stocks, but private credit offers a really strong opportunity to invest. And so we believe that it's going to be increasing quite a bit over the next few years. And so Goldfinch is using blockchain to make these deals much more efficient and liquid and improve those deals. All right, so tell me, how does Goldfinch improve upon traditional finances approach to lending? Yeah, so there's a few different ways. The, the big way is about increasing the accessibility. So by using blockchain, it makes it much easier to connect lenders with the borrowers across many different countries. So right now, Goldfinch has $100 million in loans active with borrowers in over 20 countries. That'd be very difficult to do without blockchain because we're able to connect people across so many different places. Okay. All right, and finally, tell me, how else is Goldfinch improving accessibility to both borrowers and lenders? Yeah, so a, a big way is by using blockchain to make the rails much easier. So it allows a lot, a lot of people to uh, interact with the smart contracts in a way that would be very difficult previously. Also, with a lot of traditional credit funds, to be able to even invest in them, you have to be usually a qualified investor and have a really high bar of being able to do it. So only the very like wealthiest of the wealthy are able to participate in these funds. But then now we're seeing increasingly more and more individuals and a broader market are able to participate in these kinds of deals. Goldfinch is using blockchain to open up the number of people who even get to participate. All right. Well, Mike, yeah. wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you so much for having me.